welcome to a new Arbor review. Today I'm going to be reviewing this beautiful watercolour iPad. It's by RHS, which is Royal Horticultural Society. So it's just called Flowers, the watercolour art pad, and it's by Rachel Pedersmith. And there's 15 botanical artworks for you to paint. So don't think there's many art books out like this. If you've seen my last art book review, that was actually quite similar, but that was for the absolute beginner. This is a little bit more advanced, but there are tutorials if you're a beginner. There's four full tutorials telling you what to do step by step. And at the end of this video, I'll show you the footage of me completing one of the tutorials. So if you stay tuned for that at the end, you can see how my painting turned out. Okay, so there's really not many pages with instruction. Just I'll just show you. These are the pages with information and instruction and then the rest is all the outline drawings very very faint and there's 15 of them and they're on watercolour paper and they're absolutely beautiful beautiful drawings so the book starts off with this fold out page at the beginning and these are the pictures that are drawn out on the watercolour paper for you to complete. So this is what you're aiming for in your finished paintings. And then also the back cover folds out with the rest of them on. So you can see the gorgeous flowers, the gorgeous, gorgeous paintings. So then after that, You've got the contents page with the beautiful artwork around the edge, introduction, advice on how to use the book, advice for beginners, advice on the tool kit that you'll need but it's just this one page, it's not like pages and pages of information going into all the watercolour equipment so it's just quite brief. And then it gives you the full colour palette of what colours are needed to complete these pictures. So then it goes on to watercolour terms and techniques. If you are a beginner, this is useful information on basic watercolour techniques. Then it starts with these four tutorials. So the first one is how to paint a flower in watercolour. And it's a step-by-step -step tutorial and it's telling you how to build the colour up in layers and it, you know it's giving you a strategy of what order to build these layers up so it's really useful information and if you are a beginner if you go through these tutorials and complete them they probably will be difficult if you don't have much experience but you will learn so much by just going through the four tutorials you will have then had the practice in the techniques that you'll need to complete the paintings at the back. So the four tutorials, the first one is how to paint a flower in watercolour, so that's about building it up in stages. Um, the next one is how to paint white flowers, which is quite important because you're painting on white paper, so this is obviously showing you how you make white flowers stand out with a white background. The next one is how to how to paint pattern and texture. Now this is the one that I have just done so this is what I'll be showing you at the end of the video, the, the process of me completing it um, and that was how it ended up. It's obviously not quite as good as the artist's one, but oh, I didn't I didn't find it too difficult. I thought it was really simple to follow. I mean, that could be just because I'm not an absolute beginner. Um, I'm not sure about that, but it did seem quite simple. And then the next tutorial, how to paint seeds and shiny objects. So it's showing you how to paint these 
shiny seeds here so if you just build it up step by step as it explains and then you should end up with these nice shiny little seeds in there okay then it goes on to the flower gallery and these are the pictures that you'll use for reference so that you can copy them onto the drawings in the back so these are all the flowers so you can see you know the details quite clear and you just need to try and follow that but obviously once you've completed the four tutorials you'll have practiced these techniques and completing those paintings will be a lot easier after doing that so you can see they're absolutely gorgeous pictures and then we move on to the paintings themselves and it tells you at the bottom the type of flower that it is so you're supposed to rip these out of the book it tells you to rip them out so like I say I ripped this one out and I just followed the instructions and it really didn't take very long and it really wasn't very difficult so I'll play that for you now and you can watch the process of me completing this and also everything that I've used in the video on the book will be linked underneath in the video description